Hey there, dragons. Guess what? I have got some really big news for you today. Can you guess what it is? Anyone? 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 This is my last day as a teacher. Yes, it is. It's true. It's my last day of a teacher. I have decided to pursue my dream and focus on not this, but this. Yes, I'm going to become a worldwide famous YouTube gamer. And this is my channel, The Gerbil. And I've been working on my personal gerbil art to make sure that I have all the things I need for a website. And if you believe this, then April's fools. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a joke. No, I'm not quitting. Don't worry. So let's get started. Welcome back, grade eight. Happy April Fool's Day, also known as April 1st. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. But I do love my uh, my YouTube channel. I've had a lot of fun as a hobby. Really, it, if, if you're any place that has you know a lockdown right now and you can't get out, having a hobby is really, really an important thing, uh, as, as it as it lets you focus on something that's fun. And um, boys and girls, I really suggest that you try to find one. I I've been making some YouTube game videos on my channel there, and posting to Reddit and having a really good time just with some online stuff, and it's been a lot of fun. So yeah. Um, plus zero points to anybody who joins my channels. Okay, let's go ahead and get started now. Let's jump over to manage back. So today's task is really quite simple and I'm just gonna kind of walk through the expectation for you. So it says virtual learning design April 1st today. You have two days to complete this right here. You have two days to complete criteria C2 and C3, but I'm gonna tell you please start with criteria C3. Don't do C2 first because it's going to create you some problems. So let's go look at the instructions for C2 and C3. Here they are in PowerPoint. Now in C1, you made yourself a list on how to create your, your product. And remember, your, your manufacturing plan had to be detailed enough that a colleague, somebody else, a peer, someone in your class could take your sketches and your design drawings from criteria B and make them following your instructions in criteria C. If it's not detailed enough for somebody else to make it, then the grade is not going to achieve the level target of a 7 or an 8. So you need to be pretty detailed, but also of course concise. Right? Use as few words as possible to say as much as you can. Now I said to start with criteria C3 before 2, and I'm going to explain why by showing you C2. In criteria C2, you're going to show me your criteria B sketches from B4. This part is just copy and paste it. Really, just copy and paste it. Go back to your criteria B, open it, copy, paste. So I'm going to show you Martin's. Oh, where's uh, Pages? Looks like I quit Pages. Maybe it's here in preview. Ah, there it is. So here's Martin's. So Martin is just going to go take these, these pictures of these models and copy and paste them directly into a new file for criteria C2. Now what is he going to do with these models? Well, below that, he's going to put photos of his, um, of his product that he's going to create, physical product, which right now of course is a prototype model and you're going to show the same views. So whereas Martin had a front, a side, and an isometric, he's going to make his product out of paper, cardboard, whatever materials you have at home, that's totally fine, and going to take photos that match those and present them here. Should also include a photo of your model pieces laid out separately. This means all along, like in a flat area. Now this could be in Fusion, because in Fusion you've been told to create the model in Fusion for laser cutting eventually. So you could show that in Fusion, or you could show all of your uh, pieces of your actual physical prototype model laid out here. Now, why is it better to do C3 first? Well, because C3 is going to be a manufacturing diary. In C3, you're going to show me a series of photographs of how you have created your 
physical product. Now this may include uh, sketches from B, planning it. This may include uh, your modeling in, a, in Fusion. This may include some of the Fusion processes of how you constructed the model, the digital model. This may include the physical cutting of paper or cardboard, of slotting or gluing things together to create the prototype model. And of course, it should include a final picture down here. Now, a few of you have already made beautiful physical models. Back in Criteria B, you modeled it, which was great. And I'll tell you, at that time, we actually expected, many of us teachers thought we would be back on campus next week uh, to do Criteria C in school. And it turns out we're not back yet. And so because COVID-19 still has us locked down so that we cannot go back to school, we have to adjust our processes and we can't laser cut these because you don't have laser cutters at home. So we're going to follow criteria C and D based on your prototype models. So if you have a really awesome, super high quality model at home that you've already made, you can use that. However, if you think that your model definitely could be improved, then I'm gonna think it could be improved. And if I'm gonna think it can be improved, then you need to improve it. So take the next two days and develop or redevelop or improve both your digital model in Fusion, showing all your pieces in a two-dimensional rectangle, as we've discussed before, and create a physical model at home out of whatever materials you have. Now, a really cool tip, if you can print, you can take that Fusion file, you can export it, and you know how to do that. You can then print it on paper, you know, using a normal paper. Then you can cut it, or actually glue it onto cardboard, then cut out the pieces following the lines, then slot it together. Uh, that would be really, really awesome. And that would be something that you would document here. So C3 is evidence of how you did your product, how you made it. C2 is representation of your final project compared to your plans from Criteria B. Now for most of you, this should be really, really easy actually, because many of you have already done the fusion work. Many of you have already made, again, the rectangle shape with all your pieces laid out. Many of you have already made a high quality prototype model, but I think that many of you, just as many at least, could still improve, greatly improve the models to present here. So make sure that when you're doing this, you read the directions, you look at your task specific clarifications, like right here, it says include clear, high quality screenshots or images of the stage of creation. So if, you, if that includes photographs of you building it at home, what I do not want to see is you say, you know, holding it up and taking a selfie saying, here it is. No, no, no. You need to set it on a clear background, maybe a table surface with good lighting, no distractions, and a picture of that product part or whatever. Is it okay to show your hands physically cutting it? Yes, because that's part of the manufacturing process. But busy backgrounds with your face in it and, and maybe your dog or cat or um, a, a cluttered kitchen cabinet with food products everywhere? No, 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 not okay. Presentation is important. This is all about presentation here, and C2 is all about presentation. So you need good, clear, crisp, high quality pictures that focus on the task, right, without distractions. So read these task specific clarifications. Read the directions here, and of course, email me if you have questions, comments, concerns, or if there's just anything you're bored. Hey, send me an email. I'm bored too. Okay, that's it for today. You have, again, two days to complete this task. Today, I want you to send, uh, turn in whatever you have finished, just so that I can, of course, re record attendance and engagement. Make sure you turn in something. It can be a screenshot of your progress. It could be your completed project if you're done, or it could be an incomplete version of your project C2, C3. I just need you to turn something in to confirm engagement, that you watched this video, that you started your work, and that you are engaged. So I will take attendance again based on what people turn in, which you can see right now is nobody because class hasn't started. All right, that's all I gotta say for today. No, I'm not quitting. It was an April Fool's joke, ha 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 ha. 
Okay. Miss you all. See you later. <laughs>